Okay, here we are again in the dark room. Return to the, the river bed negative. It was a little bit troublesome the last time and I wasn't happy with uh, the final outcome on that. We had some snowballing in the highlights, which is a, re a reaction. It's a reaction to um, the infectious development, which, as I've mentioned previously, pushes along the dev the development of the highlights uh, of the shadows, shadow areas, and mid tones to an extent. But when you're hunting for detail in the highlights and you prolong the dev time, that reaction spills over, I think, uh, into the highlight areas. And you kind of get a it's commonly referred to as snowball and so it speaks for itself. You kind of get round round blotchy images um, across the highlight areas. Some people don't mind it personally, uh, I think it it just looks it just looks like a field print. So uh, here we are again for another go. LD20 lith dev, more or less the box uh, ratio for mixing. Uh, we've got the equivalent of a one litre mix, but there's only 500 ml in the tray here, so we've half those um, quantities. So we've got 8 ml part A, 8 ml part B, and made up to 500 ml of water or made up to 500 mil with water. Again, waiting for the highlight, waiting for the shadow areas to come up. <clears throat> Put a minute and a half into the dev here. Just starting to show. You probably won't see that on the camera here. Starting to come up now, and we're a couple of minutes in. Very slowly to start with, but hopefully you should be able to see those plaques coming up now on the camera. So then we'll start to move progressively quicker. Quite strange in the sense that um, the image is so very slow to build initially, and then we we get towards this this snatch point whereby we need to quickly remove the print from the developer and it, get it into the stop path, stop path to stop development because because of the infectious development the print print uh, dead blocks that, uh, and, and the mid-tones can race ahead so quickly um, that you can ruin the print. So as I mentioned before on the 
pre on one of our previous prints. Let let the let the shadows look after themselves. A lot of people their snatch point is when they when they think um, the shadows are at the darkest point that they would like. I personally prefer to um, if I can let those shadows just look after themselves for a while whilst the highlights come along wait till we get some not necessarily a massive amount of detail in the highlights sometimes the negative won't allow that without starting to try and get involved in burning dodging and burning in it's a, it's a finicky process enough to start with without too much of that so if you get colour torn in the highlights more often than that, that's enough. It will look like we've got good detail coming up on that cloud area just along the horizon beyond the tree there. Hopefully you can see that. And I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to snatch that uh, print out of the dev now, stop it, and we'll see where we go from there. Okay, so here we have the test print. Just about right, hopefully. Black's predictably black. Uh, some nice continuous tone in the mid tones, and a lovely tone in the highlights in the sky there. So I think it's a go for a full size print straight away. So here we go, full size print, 12 by 16. Get a nice even coverage of the dev. So I tip the tray back, bring it in, drop it down, swish it back nice and quick. Okay, so as I neglected to mention on the test print, um, we will we had a 90 second exposure overall under the enlarger. Uh, I did a further 30, sec 30 seconds burn in just of the sky area, and I did a 30 second burn in on the lower foreground area. <clears throat> reason being for that uh, I wanted to try and get as much detail as I could in the sky plain torn is nice but detail is better ok I'll jump ahead a little bit with this print uh, it's been in the dead now for about 8 minutes start to come on nicely Those blacks jumping forward. Detail. You can see the border of the masconese of the the bear diesel. About 15 mil on the top and about five mil side borders, 15 mil on the bottom. So there's lots of torn in there. Difficult to see under this red light. But certainly torn in that sky area. There is detail in there. Wasn't a massively contrasty there. Quite overcast actually from what I can remember. So black's flying along now. Keep this going. I want to take a risk <clears throat> and hope we don't get any snowballing coming into this sky here because I want a little bit more detail here and a little bit more detail. Uh, rather than just plain lift tone, if you like, a little bit more detail in that pool of water there on the river bed. So, taking a bit of a chance. Bit of a cloud detail coming in across the, beyond the tree on the horizon.
should we stay or should we go up? I think we'll pull it at that. I don't want to risk going any further with that. Right, into the stop. Printing the fixer now. Just give that a, a few minutes in the fixer and then we'll get it into the wash. Already you can see there was lovely tones in there. Lovely peachy tones, rich blacks. Very very happy with the result here. Very happy. Okay, so here we are. Prints in the wash. The first one. Uh, a wee bit a wee bit light, but certainly it could be salvageable, I think, if we give this a good wash and put it through some gold toner. I think the gold toner will will pull those uh, tones down a little bit. Print on the left. Absolutely spot on. Uh, highly delighted with this one. Um, lovely tones. Lovely blacks. All in all, just a beautiful lith print.